Hey fellow Star Citizens, Scrapchat here. This will be longer than my typical episode as I am making it uh, for completely new players. I'll walk you through the very first mission everyone should do, the single box delivery mission. I'll not be cutting out anything during the episode and we'll explain in, in as much detail as possible what I'm doing in the hope that this will help new players make their way around the verse. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to the uh, ASOPS terminal Welcome. and get my ship. I think we're going to go with the uh, 315P this time. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Okay, head on over to Hangar 7. Now, uh, I'm going to select the mission here. Yeah. And we're doing the Red Wing Seeking New Pilots, which is the intro mission. Looks up the offer, and it tells us where we're supposed to go, which is on Aerial. I also like to uh, request the uh, uh, takeoff at this point, too. It's just nice because by the time I get in into the ship and get everything set up, the doors will be open up there for the hangar. You'll have to excuse the clutter. This is from a previous mission. Usually that stuff disappears by now. I also like to reduce the throttle so I don't uh, go too fast coming out of the hangar. Landing gear raised. And of course pull up the gear. And when you open up the, uh, the star map, you'll see there's a little uh, rectangle there that's telling us where we're supposed to be going. As well as a marker on your hood. We're just going to quantum over to Ariel. And again, using the little package marker, I can just move over there and quantum to that point also. Normally what I like to do after I come out of quantum uh, and I'm on the dark side of a planet or a moon, I like to skip across the top of the atmosphere. Uh, so I'll turn off the quantum drive uh, and I'll just keep myself at zero degrees and 
So I start moving along about as fast as I can. Being outside the atmosphere also reduces friction on your ship. So you should move about at, as fast as you possibly can. You know, it won't be any drag. And then I'll just lo watch the marker here. And when it's directly above me, I'll stop. And then I'll start head straight down. Uh, that's because I, I find it better to come straight down than to come in at an angle. If you're coming at an angle, there's a chance you could hit something like a mountain. Especially at night, you can't really see everything. Um, you can scan if you want to, but I don't know. I kind of like coming straight down. I find that a lot easier. Now, at the moment, my altimeter is broken, so I'm kind of using the the uh, pickup package marker as a poor man's altimeter. And now you can start seeing the lights of the landing pads. So we're we're doing we're doing okay now. And I'm going to try and park right next to the uh, pickup package building. And of course, make sure you put your landing gear down by now. And since it's dark, I turn on the lights. And something I didn't notice while I was recording this, uh, the package marker right now is right in front of me. but it's going to shift here, right there. It just shifted and I didn't notice that while I was coming down. That usually doesn't happen. So we're not going to be parking next to the building we thought we were parking next to. I was focusing too much on, uh, on my landing. I didn't notice the box marker moved. Press I to turn off the engines. Always leave your power up. Uh, that'll keep your shields up. Um, so don't press U to turn off your turn off the power to your ship. Just press I. And I'm going to grab one of these packages and take it with me and just kind of dump it out there. House cleaning. These are packages from another mission I ran the other day. I don't know why they're still there. They shouldn't persist. So we'll just drop it here. There we go. And now I just realized I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be way here over there. The one thing we're going to do while we're here, um, we're going to do something called looting. There are a couple of crates that we can open up and we're allowed to take the stuff out of. This red crate in front of us here, that one right there, he's got some uh, uh, armor that we're going to be interested in taking with us. So we're just going to drag that over to the local section, which we will then be able to transfer to our ship. And the other type of loot crate is this one right here, these dingy gray ones. And they're good for uh, sustenance. Uh, I actually never pay for water or food. I just, when I'm on these uh, either cargo missions or, or uh, uh, delivery missions, I'll just come in, the, come in uh, the different buildings here and basically take all their sustenance.
one of these trips will will keep me fed for like a month. I won't have to bother, you know, I don't have to worry about where to find food or water. I can either leave it on my ship or I can leave it at the uh, station where I, where I usually live. I'll also take some things like uh, the multi-tools. They're usually pretty handy. Well, really what I'm looking for is sustenance. And these items, you can sell them, but they're worth almost nothing. Um, so I just leave them. Now we'll go check the other rooms. There's another dingy gray box. Not much. Multi-tool. Yeah, I don't know. You can sell those too. You can sell clothes, but you rarely can wear them, honestly. I mean, certainly not on missions you need to have an undersuit on. Ah, oh, here are two dingy boxes. I think I got enough sustenance though to last me. So, let me check the last room. There's nothing in there. Now we come over here to the garage box. Now you see there's a marker on there. So it tells you which one to grab. Now we're just going to head back to the ship. And when you need to find your ship, just look for the... Uh, round circle with a dot in the middle of it floating on your, in your hood. And there it is right there to our right. It'll tell you also, um, eventually here, the distance to the ship. I think we were too close for it to tell us. I think it felt that we should know how far it was. Now there it is there, 42, 23 meters. Just kind of drop it in the back with his uh, little friends here. At this point, I've committed the cardinal sin of looting. I forgot to transfer my inventory that I looted to my ship, which is huge. Basically, I'm leaving everything on on the moon. So uh, I will I'll show you uh, transferring the inventory when we get to to our drop off point. Okay, so I uh, turn on the engines, turn on the quantum drive. Set a set my uh, set my course back to uh, Hurston, which is the drop-off point. I like to do everything on the ground before we take off, uh, only because once you leave the Armistice Zone, which is what we're in now, the Armistice Zone kind of acts as a protective uh, shield uh, against people shooting at you, usually from uh, other players shooting at you. Pirates I've been shot at, even though I'm in the Armistice Zone, they've still shot at me, but there's a pretty good chance somebody's going to shoot you while you're on the ground in an Armistice Zone. So I'll do, I'll do as much as I can uh, before I take off. That way I don't have as much to worry about once I'm in the air. There we go, there's the, the orbital marker just uh, has now become available. Quantum over to that. And then we'll switch over to the next jump point, which unfortunately I had a problem with this. I don't know what was going on. 
That should have been available as soon as I got to Order Marker 5, but it's actually behind the moon. So I can't I can't get to it. And this is not good because we're now hanging out in reasonably low orbit. And even after just picking Hurston, it still thinks I can go through the moon. So, yeah, it's not good. So I ended up having to just clear it and then basically take any point that'll get me over uh, closer to Hurston. Basically closer to Hurston and away from that. Uh, I really don't like having that blue orbit. I think we just ended up at a different orbital marker around the moon. That really didn't go as, as planned, but that's okay. I mean, nobody uh, messed with us and we're on our way. Okay, so we're just going to move over to the uh, dropped off location and quantum over to it. Time for a change of pace. I don't think I'm going to uh, skip above the atmosphere. I think I'm just going to drive right through it. Make sure to put your gear down. And it's dark, so I, I put my lights on. As we get closer, I'll start throttling back. Now we can see the lights of the landing pads. And again, I'll head toward, right towards the uh, drop-off package marker. I'm going to park right next to that building. Well, at least the marker hasn't changed yet. That's a, that's a good sign. I'm going to try and park between all that. And there's a little bit of a wind kicking up too, I see. So it's also a good idea to try and park into the wind if you can.
This is also, a, a, really this is the reason why you turn off your engines. Um, I mean, you could technically leave it on, but when you leave them on, the thrusters are on, which means it's easy for the wind to blow your ship around. So I'm going to just get rid of some garbage here. the wind that just knocked me off my ladder. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Alright, now let's get our, our actual package. As you can see, it has a little marker on it, blue ID. That'll be helpful when you're doing uh, multi-package deliveries. that sun coming up. Hmm. A little bit of wind there. Alright, you can see there's a shelf where we're supposed to put the uh, package on. Sometimes it's that Coflex uh, machine that we just passed, the orange Covex machine. In this case, we have to put it on this shelf here. What we want to do is very important. You want to click on the place there. Don't click on your package. Click on the shelf where it says place. And that will cause the automation, or the animation, I'm sorry, to put the package on the shelf, completing the mission, and now we have been awarded our 3000 AUEC. And since I just realized that I did not transfer any of our inventory over to the ship <laughs> when we were over on uh, Ariel. I'm going to go loot this box right here. Fortunately not a whole lot there. Also, whenever you leave a building, especially on the moon, although we're on a planet now, but always take one or two little steps out of the onto the stairs. If you just go walking right out of the stairs, there's a pretty good chance the window will just knock you right off, and you could sustain some damage. So we're going to go over to this uh, mining control uh, building. We're going to do some looting there, make up for the fact that we forgot all of our inventory and on aerial. And there's a nice little. Nice old loot crate. This should have plenty of sustenance in it. That's not bad. And there's a red, a red crate. It's some armor. That's nice, a backpack. Wow. I don't think I've ever done a backpack before. Oh, 
Oh, there's a, there's a loot crate. Now some of these are like parked under a bench or on a shelf or something. Sometimes you're, you're going to have to crouch in front of it in order to access it. To do that, just hold down the control key and that'll make you uh, crouch like that. And then you'll be able to access the, uh, the crate. Oh, there's another red, another red loot crate. You can see how it's parked under the, uh, there you know, the, with the crouch to get to it. I see there's some armor and an undersuit. That's nice. You can either sell that armor or you can use it for when you go on bunker missions. So I, believe me, I don't turn my nose up at uh, free armor. All right, let's head back to the ship. And again, be careful going downstairs. And then we could also go over here to the habitation module. This is where uh, the people who work at the mining facility uh, live. There's usually one or two loot crates in here as well. Oh, yep. See, there's a red one. Let's see if we can get some armor. So that's not bad. Get a free undersuit, helmet, and uh, light torso armor. some sustenance. That's nice. It's always nice to have a couple tractor beams handy uh, for when you go real looting uh, during um, uh, bunker missions. I forgot to look for the sustenance. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I'm coming back for it. See, that's a decent amount of sustenance. That'll that'll keep you going for uh, days. Sometimes there's a crate over here too. Oh, yep, there we go. And I'm really not into clothes. I mean, I don't know. Never really found them very useful. And I think that's it. So now we can head back to our ship. And this time we will remember to transfer our inventory. Again, always take a step or two out first before you walk down the stairs just in case there is uh, some wind going on. transfer our inventory. So we're going to move everything from HDMS Edmund that we collected over to our Origin 315P. Now to do that, I'm going to click on Custom and I'm going to go through and I'm just going to select everything. So I don't, I don't want to miss anything. Transferring any of, uh, any of the stuff we looted. 
And then I'm just going to move it all over. Switched helmets. Okay, at this point we're just going to head back to Everest Harbor and then we'll transfer all of our inventory from the ship to Everest Harbor so we have access to it there. And also now if we look at the uh, delivery missions, see how now uh, the multi-package missions have opened up to us. So now we'll be doing things like picking up three packages at different locations and dropping them off at one location. And instead of only getting paid 3000 credits, we're going to get paid 8,000 credits. And if you look at your Delphi, uh, you see we're no longer an applicant, we're now a junior runner. And if we do several of those uh, three package deliveries, we'll make it up to runner, and that will open up even more uh, more advanced delivery missions for us that also pay even more. So, that's great. And again, like I said, I like to get everything done in the first part, take off site. Increase my speed to three quarters. I turn on the palm drive. And I know Edmund is, is uh, within within quantum shot of uh, Everest Harbor because it's actually right next to um, right next to Lorville, which uh, Everest Harbor is in geosynchronous orbit above it. So it's um, to get to. So I don't bother trying to lay in a course to it. As soon as these little red triangles turn white, I'll be able to stop. And then there we go. So I'll be able to just kind of start slowing down. And once we're in the white, I can swing around and start looking for Everest Harbor. There it is. Yep, turn off the QT drive and just zoom on over to the space station. Eventually it'll ask us to uh, to uh, contact the ATC and they'll give us a give us a hangar to land in. Throttle back and I will contact ATC, request a request a hangar. There we go. It's probably gonna be the one right next to us. Yep. There we go. And what I do is, I mean, there's a couple different ways you can land in these hangars, the vertical ones. You can either drop down or you can just fly straight down into it. I tend to just fly straight down into it. And then let the auto lander straighten me up once I get in. So you throttle back. You don't need to fly too quickly in here. That's so cool. You can see the shadow of my ship on, on the... Uh, the Lanny Bay. Pretty neat. Okay. Um, another good thing you should always do too is put your landing gear down before you actually enter. <laughs> the, uh, 
Because right now I'm trying to get the auto lander to pick up and it's not. And it's because I don't have my gear down. So I'm switching out to the uh, camera view. Rotating around, I realize, oh, I didn't put my landing gear down. Hmm. Maybe that's why. So now if I hold down hold down the end key for a second, the auto lander picks up. And I don't have to worry about you know dealing with the landing part. Insane. Turn off the engines just out of habit, which is dumb because actually you should always do this when you land. Uh, go over to vehicle maintenance services and fill up and get any repairs done. Okay, so now we're going to transfer everything over to uh, Eris Harbor from the ship. At least I will when I realize that I am doing this backwards. I'm so used to going from left to right, or from right to left, and I, this time I actually have to go from left to right. I just figured it out. So I have to select everything. Start moving everything. Looks like a few things dropped on me there. I <laughs> got some new armor and a new helmet and a multi tool. There we go. That's better. Okay, I'm going to grab that last uh, package there. Get it off the ship. I really think delivery missions are, are the most important missions a new player can complete. Uh, these missions force you to land and take off a lot. They also help you learn your way around uh, the verse, even if it's just the Microtech neighborhood. Eventually, when you hear people talking about New Babbage, Uterp, or even Bud's Grewery, you, you'll know what they're referring to. So that's it for the uh, single box delivery mission in 3.17.2. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please subscribe and hit that like button. All that really helps out the channel a lot. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.